What is up? I'm Alana Turtle and welcome to another Pokemon video. Uh, today is going to be primarily a mail day kind of thing, but uh, you know, we like to open stuff. So I did grab a Hidden Fates tin, so we will open a couple Hidden Fates pack, but uh, primarily it's going to be around some new stuff we picked up. <clears throat> Let's get right into uh, one of the, eh, I'm not sure what to say. More interesting things is we have a pretty happy with our sealed collection and we do have a couple booster boxes watsy booster boxes and i kind of never really had a case for them they'd kind of just be sitting there uh which is pretty irresponsible so i did pick up a one of these acrylic cases for the watsy boxes and this is what it looks like so this is our unlimited rocket and uh yeah these things are the price is absolutely insane uh, i took a look at ebay at, at the time of filming this i think the last unlimited box which this is and i feel like this box is not in perfect condition but is really good <clears throat> uh was for like four, over four thousand uh so like you know not having any kind of case around it is just irresponsible and i kind of picked up one of the cheaper ones so it definitely you know it's not super tight fit but that's you know i'm not sure if it's supposed to be uh and then as far as like to keep this closed we have like a little magnet and I mean, it, it does require some amount of force, but, um, you know, considering how the prices are going, you know, we might upgrade this sooner uh, rather than later if there are better ways to protect it. And uh, yeah, if, you, if people have been with the channel for a while, you know what else we have as far as sealed products. And so we got two of them. And this is the unlimited base set. Definitely one of the most expensive things in our collection if not the most expensive thing i believe the last unlimited one although this one's not in perfect condition so it's kind of subjective as far as like what the going rate is for this box uh but uh you know a one of probably similar condition i think sold on ebay for like eight thousand dollars so you know very expensive stuff and not having anything so it's obviously a huge improvement from nothing uh but maybe we'll have to upgrade it sooner <laughs> pretty quickly after this <clears throat> all right what else we got um, all right, on to some other kind of things. We picked up some staff quick balls. I think quick ball is I don't know, the best card out of sword and shield so far, you know, always going to be used. And I'm excited for darkness of blaze because we often get to via those double packs, open a bunch of sword and shield looking for some secret rare quick balls, the gold ones. Um, I think the next best thing would be these staff promos and these packs. I think it comes with 10 league promos as well. So kind of cool thing. I uh, might just keep these sealed. I don't think I would play with these. Again, if anything, I'd, I feel like the gold is a little bit more swaggy. So if we had, uh, you know, unlimited options, we would probably go with those golds. Hopefully you can find some soon. <clears throat> Let's see. We got some raw singles. Nothing too special. Um, so I'm kind of doing, trying to do a lot more PSA grading right now. And I thought, you know what? Let's get some cute turtles. Um, if you remember back in Unified Minds, you're trying to pull like a Reverse Tortuga. Some people sent me it, some uh, some Reverse Tortugas and non-reverse. So we're definitely sending those in. But then I just took a quick look on TCG Player. It's like, oh, some of these other Tortugas were pretty cute. So we just picked up a bunch of them. Uh, unfortunately, the conditioning is not the best, especially on the back. So I don't think there's... There's only a handful that I think could get a 10. Uh, we do have like some reverse and then the Unified Minds. I kind of took a look at the backs and I feel like this la these last few, kind of the best shot, but even these aren't perfect. I think there's like, use like a dot or something on the corner. Ooh, this lighting is pretty good to kind of look at the backs. Um, so I'll probably only hand send a hand few of this, but I think like all these cards were like uh, all less than 50 cents. But if there's other cute turtles uh, from a previous set that you can think of, let me know in a comment down below whether it's a Turtwig, obviously Squirtle. That might be too late to kind of like get like a first edition base Squirtle or something like that. Uh, but, you know, Turtwig, Torkoal, uh, yes, of course, Squirtle. Uh, War Tor like all the middle ones are less appealing to me. But uh, all right, let's keep going. Um, super minor, but uh, there's been a huge shortage and stuff kind of like for PSA grading. So finally got some penny sleeves in and managed to pay a penny per sleeve. So I was pretty happy with that. Got a couple thousand. So we should be good for a while. And if you're looking for those, by the way, I just picked this off Amazon. So check it out. All right, let's take a look at some graded cards. We got four of them, although two are the same. We have a reverse Amistar from Sky Ridge. Um, yeah, while I am picking up stuff from ETH, it's almost always reverse because that is <laughs> like what's st still in my range. And uh, one funny thing about this, I purchased this and then I just did like just another search 
or like my subs subscriptions as far as like tell me what daily what's going on it's like oh there's another one for sale it's actually a little bit cheaper i was like oh my gosh let me just pick that one up too so we got and i love this art so this is sky ridge but um like the first one was expedition and i think that's such an appropriate title because i feel like these arts like these are like the pokemon in their natural habitat or something so they look like they're like in the wild which i why i really appreciate these um that kind of this era and why i'm starting to pick up as many as i can and then we got some of the legendary birds reverse moltres and these are all nine by the way reverse of moltres uh, this art is good but not not like the best but i really love this zapdos art so much so that we went for a non-foil so this is not we took a step down even from reverse to for uh just non-hollow to get the zapdos and i love this art it's really cool and these these pokemon had really strange abilities you can't attach lightning energy to the zapdos very strange uh but i love that card so continue to expand our e-series collection and um Oh, I think that was it. All right, let's get into this Hidden Fates 10. All right, so if you guys do enjoy the content, do me a favor, hit that like button. Subscribe if you're not already. Uh, last call for our booster box giveaway of Darkness Ablaze, the new set. So we're announcing the winner tomorrow. So if you haven't entered, make sure you find that video and enter. I'll probably put it in the description. Probably put out a video sometime before, the, before noon, hopefully and announce the winner best of luck to you all and thank you all for the support and helping us get to 1000 subscribers i'm unprepared i don't even have sleeves on me but we have four packs of hidden fates and let's just get right into it and uh yeah probably gonna do release the q a video this weekend so thank you everyone for your questions and so an update on when we're doing Darkness Ablaze. So I'm kind of disappointed. We did buy some boost boxes and Darums. They kind of stated we'll ship it out to you as soon as we can. Uh, they've already done their openings. Their, you know, their insane amount of pack openings. Um, and they sent us the tracking number, but it still hasn't shipped. So that's kind of disappointing. Uh, I'm sure there must be something going on that's keeping them busy, but I was expecting that to be a little bit faster all right for our first pack we just have a reverse energy and pack number two but once we do get those boxes in we already have a couple patrons lined up to do a box break for them if you're interested in participating in a box break or sponsoring a break uh, check out our patreon page it's available to the vip tiers and basically i try to give the best price that i can um, for those dark as a blaze Boxes, box breaks who are currently going for $80 and still doing some Hidden Fates we'll probably do some Hidden Fates on Friday live and we do got a shiny and it's a Charmeleon I find I see this in this card a lot like what is this line right here it looks like a I don't know almost like a shadow I'm not sure if that's a printing defect or what or a print line uh, but I do find that on the Charmeleon quite often and oh I like this lighting for this um, camera setup you can see the kind of like the very texture like, yeah, right down here definitely the how i prefer versus the ultra glossy let's take a look centering i feel like it's not perfect um maybe this could get a 10 i'm not a psa expert have like uh hundreds of cards at psa right now but still be quite a while before i think i just got a notification that my express stuff they finally entered it into their system and will begin to be graded but again, probably won't get that back for still a few months. We are doing a huge submission uh, for myself and some patrons come mid-September. So if any other patrons are interested in, I'll just, you know, I'll charge whatever the grading service is that, uh, that is for me. And I'll take care of the shipping and everything. All right, this is our second to last pack, but uh, pretty good, pretty good tin. Oh, we got a shiny GX as well. When you open one tin, anything is possible. And sometimes, like, you know, uh, shiny and reverse energy is all you get. But we got a very nice shiny in Greninja. And the front, the center looks pretty good. Not perfect. Uh, at least side to side. Ooh, but the back. Oh, what is this up here? No, I think it's fine. You can kind of see. Maybe there's something. A little nick. Very minor. Uh, definitely going to send this in in our next submission to PSA. Shiny Greninja. 
All right, definitely a above average tin in my opinion. All right, last pack for this opening. And if you have any advice, tips on like what what uh, what box to get, they're kind of they're surprisingly expensive. But then when you kind of look at the prices, you know what? That's better safe than sorry. And uh, you know when you're talking thousands of dollars, uh, definitely want to make sure it is well protected. Which why I'm like a huge advocate for PSA. Um, you know I sell very, I think I've sold only like two cards of, in my collection, and one of them was like a base set too, so it's <laughs> really worth it, worth that much. Um, but you know, the reason I like PSA, not only does it have a grade, uh, so you know kind of where it stands, but also it provides that level of protection. And we just got a reverse Arbuck, so pretty good opening. We got a shiny GX and a shiny Charmeleon. And uh, yeah, showed off some of our recent pickups. And uh, that's gonna be it for me today. As always, thanks for watching. Thanks for all the support. Shout outs to, um, Everyone on Patreon, everyone in the Discord. And uh, yeah, that's going to be it for me today. As always, thanks for watching. I'm Moana Turtle, and I'll catch you guys next time. All right, so I did forget one thing. So we have one more quick thing. This was just a package that arrived. Um, I couldn't figure out the the, the camera angle, and I, then I completely forgot about it. So we'll just do this at this point. Uh, this is a box that came in from a vendor in, out of Canada. I think it's called Hobbiesville. And I pre-ordered a bunch of Champion Path stuff from them because uh, they kind of had a good price and kind of like a, a promo code. Um, but to make sure like they're kind of like trustworthy site, I did just put in another order that just arrived today. Just to, like, all right, let me just order something as I put in a huge order for Champion's Path. We got a basically a booster box worth of Burning Shadows blisters. And then shout outs to our Discord mod Purge. Um, our Funko collection of Pokemon is going pretty well. And he let us know that there's something called Flock. I probably have seen it, the, the word Flock, but I didn't even know what it meant. Because I didn't pay too much close attention. You can't, eh, you can't really tell, but it's kind of furry, I guess. And so we have our first Flock Funko, Pokemon Funko. And um, yeah, so just FYI, a couple of people asked me, you know, what, where are you buying your Champions Path? Uh, we did put in an order at Hobbiesville free shipping from Canada to the US, so that was pretty good and they had a good price. And uh, yeah, they seem to be legit. So, all right guys, that's, now that's it for me. All right, peace.